Excuse me. Hello, Ken. Okay, how are you today? I'm hmm? um, fine, thank you. Okay, that's great. So, by the way, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I, I can uh, hear you. Okay, I already share also my screen. Can you see my screen there? Okay, by the way, I can see your video. Okay. Because to, okay, today we will have listening skills. So it is very important that you can, uh, okay, try to check your audio if you can listen to me. Yeah. Uh, if you can hear me, okay. So here we go. Try to listen this one because we will have listening skills. Okay, I can see your video. Is your video okay? Mm, yes. Okay, there you are. I can see you now. So how was your school today? Are you busy in school? Um, uh, yes. All right, but you still have time to relax. All right. Okay, so here we go. Teacher will share my screen for our lesson. Listening to that is all about. Okay, here we go. Can you see my screen? Okay, we have five. Since it's a listening skills, I will check. Okay, what you're going to do, you will just need to listen it twice. Afterwards, you can answer also after you get a listen. Okay, to check how far you can understand while you listen that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, for the first Part, you have pictures with multiple choice question. Second part is longer conversation and matching. Third is a multiple choice again. Fourth part is film in a form. And the last is another film in a form. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So here are some vocabulary words first. 
the first word there is what's that? Round. Okay, round. So I guess as you can see here, that is a round. Another one is square. Curtain. Okay, that is a curtain. Manager. Okay, the manager. You know what is the work of a manager? Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay, the manager there. And the fifth is secretary. The manager is the one who will manage a business, manage any establishment. Okay, another one is secretary. Okay, secretary who will record all the information if there are information needed, secretary. Okay, that is a secretary who will put information. So those are some words that I share you for some vocabulary tonight, okay? Okay, for the first part here, what you will do this time, you will hear five conversations, okay? You will hear each conversation twice, and there is one question for each conversation. You just need to put a thick under the right answer, like that, okay? So you just need to hear it. Try to listen properly, okay? So here we go. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Okay. One. What is John going to do tonight? Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Now listen again. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Two. Which is Ben's family? Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Now listen again. Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Three. Which bag does the woman buy? I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Now listen again. I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Four. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Now listen again. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. 
do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Five. What time does the film start? Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. OK, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at, um, about five to eight. All right. See you then. Now listen again. Hello. Okay. Hello, Ray. It's... I guess you're done. So, again, and that's your final answer. Okay, so what is John going to do tonight? He have uh, he will have a football match. Okay, very good. A football match. Which is Ben's family there? Can you describe which is Ben's family there? Okay. I which... choose A. Okay, you chose A. All right. Very good. Which bag does the woman buy? Uh, is a C, the round one. Okay, it is small and round one. All right. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Okay. Next again. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Uh, it's 13. Okay, it is 30. Pounds. Yes, very good. And the time, what time does the film start? What to, is quarter past eight. Okay, oh, is it quarter past eight or is it 15? Okay, that is 8.15. You want to listen again for that? Or you have any any this any question about this question here? No. Uh, okay, so very good. You're checked for one, two, three, and four. But for number five, what time does the film start? It will start at 8.15. Okay. All right, so in that part, you got four out of five. Okay, do you have any question about that? No. Okay, all right, no question. Let's try this. For the part two, let's have another listening. Okay, as you can see in the picture, that is a hotel. I want you to listen to Liz and Michael talking about the rooms in a hotel. Okay, they're talking about the rooms. They are going to paint the rooms. What color are they going to paint each room? So that is for example, for question six to 10. So you will just need to write letter A to H. Okay. And you need to hear the conversation twice also so you can understand and think for your answer. All right, so let's start now. Okay, here are the rooms here and the colors. All right, so teacher will play now, okay. Now look at part two. It's part two. Listen to Liz and Michael talking about rooms in a hotel. They are going to paint the rooms. What color are they going to paint each room? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? 
Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green. So I think the walls should be light green. OK. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey. Or is blue pretty? All right. A nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office? How about red? Oh, no. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. Now listen again. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green. So I think the walls should be light green. OK. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey. Or is blue prettier? All right. A nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office? How about red? Oh, no. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. Okay, uh, yes, Ken, do you have an answer already? Um, no, all... not, not this really. This is the end Continue. of part two. Okay, now Can you... you want to listen again? Yeah, just one time. Okay. Now look at part two. Listen to Liz and Michael talking about rooms in a hotel. They are going to paint the rooms. What colour are they going to paint each room? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Teacher, did you already? Michael, we um, must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green. So I think the walls should be light green. OK. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey. 
Or is blue prettier? All right. A nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office? How about red? Oh, no. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. Now listen again. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green, so I think the walls should be light green. OK. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey. Or is blue prettier? All right. A nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office? How about red? Oh, no. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. Okay, so I guess you already have your answer. Yes. Okay, so for the nine, that is the office. What's the color in the office? That is. Okay, what's the color in the office? That is. Uh, the color of the office is dark green. Okay, dark green. Dark green. So let's see. How about in the television room? It's right. Uh, no, it's um light yellow. Okay, that's light yellow. Very good. How about in the first floor bedroom? So do you think dark is blue? Dark blue is it dark blue or light? Green and second floor bedrooms. That is uh, light blue. Okay, that is light blue. Very good. And in the office, you don't have answer there. What's your answer? Uh, in... I uh is gray. Okay, that is gray. Very good. And last in the kitchen, that is red. Okay, good job. So your check for. Six, eight, nine, and ten. All right, very good. You got it right. You got four out of five question here. Okay, very good. That's 98% of the listening skill in that part. That's a great score. Do you have any clarification or any question about that? Okay, any question about that? Yes, Ken. Do you have any clarification there? Uh, so, no. Okay, so we can proceed to the next part. That is the part three. Yeah, okay. That is the audio strip a while ago. It's all about Liz and Michael. Audio script. Okay, that is their script. This time for the part three. I want you to listen to Sarah talking to her friend Jane about a new job. Okay, there is a new job. So I want you to ask, okay, I want you to listen well and try to choose A, B, or C based on the question. Okay, so here we go. No, look at just think the end just think the best okay 
So, teacher will play the audio. Is that okay? Now, listen okay. to the conversation. Okay, 11 to 15. You hear that? Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about um, £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No, we go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes, why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F A W. C E double T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. Okay. Now listen again. Second time around. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well. My boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job. Five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? Uh, teacher, I got we already a week in my last job. Oh, uh, you can yes. did you already here? open the um did you already open the, the audio but why well, can't hear anything oh I really try to check your audio there okay yes okay you see that F A how about that now can listen you hear that to the conversation. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, you hear that one? Okay. I will play it again. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about... Um, £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No, we go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes. Why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F A W C E double T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. 
Okay. Now listen again. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the eight thirty train with me. Okay. And what's the pay like? I got a hundred and eighty pounds a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's six pounds an hour, so that's about two hundred and ten pounds a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No, we go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well. I have four weeks. Some people have five, but when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, mm. I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes. Why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F A W C E T. Well. Thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. Okay. There you are. Do you, all, do you already have the answer? Okay. What's your answer in 11? Sarah usually starts work at what time? What time she gets starts work? Uh, it's uh, nine o'clock. Usually it's nine o'clock. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Good job. In the new job, Jane can earn how many how many pounds a week? It's uh, 210 pounds. Okay, 210 pounds. Very good. And Sarah has a lunch. Sarah will have lunch. Is it in a cafe? Okay, in a cafe. Very good. In her new job, she can have how many weeks holiday? It's three weeks. Okay, she has three weeks holiday because it's she is still new, right? And the manager's what is the manager's name? Okay. What is her manager's name? That is. Okay. That uh, Fawcett. Mr. Fawcett. Fawcett. B. B. Okay, letter B. That is F-A-W-C-E-T. -E okay, very good. Good job. So your check for number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. So there you are. Do you have any question there since you got perfect? I guess you don't have. Okay, this one is the audio strip of the one we had in the part three. This time, let's go to part four. Okay, just for a while, I'll try to check. Okay, for the part four, 16 to 20, you need, you will hear a student telephoning a school. So you just need to listen and complete questions 16 to 20, okay? So you just need to listen that and you need to write the information on the back, inside the box, okay? All right. So here we go. I will play now, okay? So try to write no, the correct spelling, okay? You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice.
Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. And we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first... What day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school uh, is at teacher, can 57 you, can you start the London Road. Can you start Road. again for me? They begin okay. at... Okay. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. And we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first... What day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier 
at about nine o'clock. Yeah. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road, and we're <laughs> quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. All right. I guess you already have the answer. Okay. Again, what is the name of the yeah. school there? Okay. What is uh, the name of that school? That is. Uh, today it is Thursday, I guess. Okay. That is Thursday, and that is International Language School. All right. And that day is. Thursday. Is it Thursday? Now look at part four. Day. That is Monday. Okay. And what date is that? The date is in January. Okay. That's correct. And classes begin at what's that? Okay. Your check for January. And this one is Monday. What's this? Classes begin at, okay, I can, what do you mean by that? Uh, it's quarter past nine. Okay, quarter past nine. Okay, quarter past nine or 9.15. And how about the address? What is the address of the International Language School? Uh, is uh, 57. Okay, that is 57 London Road, and it is near in what place? It is station. Okay, near in a station. Okay, very good. It is near in a station. Good job. So you're checked for 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so you got here four points over five okay that's great so do you have any question about that okay you're able to listen at the same time you're able to spell the words correctly very good okay let's go to the last part of the listening the part okay part five so that is question 21 to 25. So you will hear a tour guide talking about the town in Scotland. So you just need to listen and complete the questions here. Okay, like also in part four, you just need to spell the word. So you need to listen very well so you can spell and answer the correct, write the answer, okay? Okay. And guide's name is Jim. Okay. All right. Okay. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a town in Scotland. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. Firstly, the banks. They're open from 9.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until 4. They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. 
you'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. A ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. Ooh. I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Second time. Good morning and mm, welcome yeah. to Scotland. Good uh, morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. <laughs> Firstly, the banks. They're open from 9.30 in the morning until four o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until four. They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. A ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here. Okay, you need to listen one more or you need to answer it? I need to listen one more because, yeah, okay. my audio is not stable. Okay, I'll well, let you listen one more, all right. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a town in Scotland. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. Firstly, the banks. They're open from 9.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until 4. They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. A ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a town in Scotland. Teacher, that's it. Listen I don't need any more. And complete questions. Okay. Uh, but a uh, bank open from um, um uh, a bank open from um, half past nine half past nine to to four to four o'clock. Okay, good job. But it will be closed on Sunday. Sunday, okay. The best city center, what is the number there? 21. 
number 21 and what how much it cost um is 16 okay 60 60 all right so this one okay 9 30 or half past nine four o'clock and that well, they will be closed on sunday and the number is 21 and the cost is 60 pence all right okay and the tour guide's name is jim right yeah. okay do you have any question about those things there Okay, your check here. All right. So do you have any Hi. clarification about the listening that you have uh -huh. from the first until the last? Any question or clarification? Okay, you have any question there? All right, so very good because you were able to answer and listen to listening skills very well. That's a good job. So I guess that will be all for tonight. And thank you so much, Ken, and see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye.